So, Jeff Waller, Sean Smith, and uh, Richard Fleming. How do I do? Okay. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the game We the Revolution, which is set in the uh, era of the French Revolution. And we have our guest historian, Richard Fleming, from the University of Rouen, uh, which um, he specialized in the French Revolution. Um, he's looked a little bit at the game, and before we start playing, and we'll, we'll play through some of it, um, we were we would like we're curious about um, the way the French Revolution has been used or portrayed in other popular media forms, or how people normally think about the French Revolution. You know, in kind of popular culture. Yeah, in popular culture. We've got a problem with that for a long time now. Because there is a great distance between the historiography of French Revolution these last 40 or 50 years and the popular opinion, the perception of the public uh, about uh, the, French, uh, 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 the French Revolution history. The first problem that we have is many times the caricature of the terror. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of uh, debate around that. But it, it does not come from the cultural, uh, popular culture, I would say. It comes more from the historiography itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a great movement, uh, we call that the revisionist movement, mm -hmm. um, uh, in the 70s, uh, 80s. Uh, and uh, this uh, revisionist movement was a totally new approach of the historiography of French Revolution, considering that terror was a misstep of the revolutionary process. And that does not match with the traditional approach, which is not only a Marxist-Jacobin one, but it's very fond even based on the, 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 the studio of the sources on their part. And this distortion created in the public opinion a great misunderstanding, because people believe that, in fact, we can reduce the terror only to the uh, revolutionary tribunal process, for example, and to the execution of people, I mean, terror is just the guillotine. Until now, we've got a lot of problems to, uh, uh, to separate the terror from the concept of execution, death penalty, and so on. This is a great problem. Could you ex maybe expand or explain a little bit about the, the the framework of the terror, or what is generally meant by the terror? Yeah. Um, the origin of the terror uh, must be very well underst understood by people. I would say there is three reasons that create the terror. The first one is the ambivalence of the French nation. There is good people, the good nation, but there is also the violent mob. And we discover, for example, with uh, September massacre, that the good nation can invite the good and kill people in the street. And uh, it was a problem for the government to conquer, which can control the violence. This is the first aspect. The second aspect that provoked the terror process was the war. Mm -hmm. There is an invasion in every border of France. It, there is a big coalition against France at that time, and the situation was totally desperate for us. This is the second factor. And the third one is the social situation. Uh, we have to take into account that people starve. Mm. And that was one of the origins of the revolutionary process, a social reason. Mm. And we don't have to forget that, because that's very important for the, for the Marxist historiography, for example. Uh, and, uh, the re and of course, I can put a, a last factor, that is the great principle of 1789, freedom, equality, and fraternity. And of course, uh, if you keep that in mind, you understand why we have to change the way to make politics. Mm. It's not possible anymore to have a, a slow reform process with, uh, uh, I would say, the constitutional monarchy. We have to jump to the next step and to create uh, what Robespierre called a revolutionary government. Uh, and this is totally different. And this is in that context that we introduce the revolutionary tribunal. Mm. Is it, so when you mentioned sort of the uh, one component of the, the social aspects, right? The sort of the, 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 the difference between um, the masses <laughs> and the nobility, right? Mm. 
as being a, 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 com a key component of the revolution. Um, it, it, if I frame that correctly, is do you see a lot of popular culture of movies that look at that sort of Marxist, Marxist viewpoint from the, the social? Because I, I imagine I see a lot of films, you know, with sort of Marie Antoinette, you know, sort of the, the favorable nobility and the, 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 the period dramas of dress, right? Mm. Um, why do you think it is that maybe the other sides are not so well represented within the revolution, popularly? Yes, there is some good movies about uh, uh, French Revolution that uh, uh, provide a good idea of the, of the revolutionary process. The problem is not so much uh, between the aristocracy and ordinary people. You have to know that the majority of the nobility was, was very poor. Mm -hmm. uh, the small noble in Britain or right. the small right. countryside, they have no money. Right. And they are totally poor. It's, there is a confusion between the legal the legal and the social process. Mm. The legal process is more about fighting against privileges. We agree with that. And it is, I would say, uh, done uh, in 1789 uh, with the abolition of privileges, the 4th of August. But actually, the privileges were suppressed lately, not at that moment, but later. But the, the social problem was about the interpretation, the social interpretation of the French Revolution. Can we consider that the French Revolution is a, a bourgeois revolution mm. or not? And this is still a debate till today. Uh, we can consider that bourgeoisie does not exist. This is the theory, the hypothesis of the book by Sarah Mazar, published in the 2005-2006, I think for the French version. And the, the very interesting uh, hypothesis proposed by Sarah Maza was to say there is no bourgeoisie in France. It's just a, a myth, a social myth. And it is, of course, against the uh, Marxist historiography. Mm. And the purpose was to demonstrate, uh, this is what I did in my first book, that actually there, there is a bourgeoisie. And a very interesting one, not the bourgeoisie of the 19th century, that is a caricature mm. of bourgeoisie, but a very strong entrepreneurship with a very interesting mentality and people who are a part of the first process of the, uh, the French Revolution. And there is few uh, 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 movies or few games about that. We are not aware of the importance of bourgeoisie in the process. And this is something that uh, we can, uh, it's difficult to see that in the, mm -hmm. movie, the popular culture. Sorry, I'm creating an earthquake here as I try to bring the mic a little closer to Richard. Good sound. Yeah. And get Jeff back in frame. That's okay. All right. Sorry about that. Yep. That's all right. Um, so you have looked at and played a bit of Assassin's Creed in your class and, and other. Um, how do you think of that game and how do you use it within your own class? That's a, a very good question. It was interesting to, to use Assassin's Creed uh, Unity, I think, the name mm -hmm. of this, uh, in order to introduce two things. One, the debate, and one, the situation of the historiography at the moment of the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, you are in 2010, 2013, there is a lot of books about Robespierre, a lot of mm -hmm. biography. And there is a strong debate about the meaning of violence in this revolutionary time. And this debate opposed Jean-Clément Martin, who was an advisor for the game, mm -hmm. and a part mm -hmm. of the uh, 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 historians uh, uh, of uh, the, French history, uh, the French Revolution, I think, about Michel Biard and, and so on. And there is a disagreement, be a debate between them about the meaning of this violence. The violence exists, we agree about that, but what is the meaning of that? Is mm -hmm. that the, the violence does not make sense in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to keep in mind, for example, the real goals of the French Revolution, right. which are much more larger than just the, 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 the violence. For example, the, the, the social aspect, we said, but also the social equality. Mm -hmm. And this is the purpose of uh, the government of Robespierre, the balance inside the society. Right. No, because the bourgeois has a strong influence, and we have to take that into account. The religion also. We can't just suppress religion from the landscape in France, because people believe in God and people are right. Christian. And we have to find a balance in order to preserve the spirit of 1789, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, the society is very slow, the mentality are very slow <laughs> to change. <laughs> right. Politics go very fast, but right. mentality are very slow. Mm -hmm. And 
this, this rupture between this distortion between the political process and the mentality process mm -hmm. is something very important mm -hmm. to understand. Right. And I think this game probably plays with that idea a little bit more. Um, and it's a little more deliberate in the way that it's treating individual decision-making processes at um, some extent, um, rather than something like Assassin's Creed Unity, where the French Revolution is essentially backdrop yeah. to a completely different story. If we are talking about the comparison between the two games, right. it's very interesting because they are strength and weak, but not at the same place. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> and I, I would say that uh, the uh, Assassin's Creed is more about the context. Mm -hmm. And you feel like in Paris in the, mm -hmm. right. during the French Revolution, seeing the event, being a part of the event. Mm -hmm. um, and you have a low agency. You are right. just, yes. uh, uh, there is, uh, this is more a, a structuralist game, if mm -hmm. we can say. Right. You are inside a structure and you try, yeah. you try to, to, to live in that. Mm -hmm. In the second game, it's more an uh, agency game. That means uh, it is a way you can influence the revolutionary uh, process mm -hmm. from inside. Right. And this is totally different. Mm -hmm. And in this second game, there is no real structure because there is no mention of the event, of the uh, chronology around. Not, that right. much. Not so much. Not it's so much, it's right. distorted. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's made for the character. We yeah. must match the both game together. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, absolutely. Well, shall we, shall we introduce a little, a little bit of the game? Yeah. So we're not looking so we're not too good. good here. <laughs> Nobody likes us at the moment. Our family may like us <laughs> a bit. So. Yeah, I don't remember if this was me playing or you. And I was trying to balance family more than politics. And I was getting into a lot of ah. control. So that's Louis after... He has been captured, captured after his attempted escape. <laughs> yes. Um, there <laughs> is no real dates or timelines as to when exactly this is happening and 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 we as judge allowed the jail keepers to beat him up a little bit so that's why he's he's bloodied there yeah and any reason appears shoot the rebels with oh this is evidence against him he's he's asking people to sh to shoot um, this is his case file, essentially. Compatriot citizen Capet, previously known as King Louis the Sixteenth of France, must be punished for conspiring against the people of France. And yeah, this is where we'll um, figure out our questions if we read this read this closely. So he tried to flee. Scheme of foreign monarchs. Use someone else's passport, and for not for postmaster. Dore, the scheme could have ended tragically. So did the postmaster see him on the coin? Is that the, the and then apocryphal this... story? He looked down at the coin and saw Louis's head. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that That's actually, the apocryphal is that what... story? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and recognized him uh, uh, through his disguise. Dure. Yeah. Dure. Dure. Okay. Dure. Oh, yeah, our pronunciations are, are terrible. Be awful. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's our and this evidence. is the other second piece of evidence up here. He gave orders for the Swiss guard station uh, to be doubled, contend the public muster. Mm -hmm. He had no choice. Um, and this then is our evidence. So what we're supposed to do this then is, um, that's our evidence. And we have this over here, and I got a letter from my son. <laughs> so we have a nice cat, and <laughs> yeah, you can see that's where our reputation was. Sean wasn't doing too well here. No, I must not have been. <laughs> but no. you have a good relationship with your wife, yeah. good relationship with your son and father. Right. This is a choice. I've also made, oh. yeah, I also made some, pro I have some problems with the jury as well, because I made an enemy at the courthouse. Because I didn't like their decision, so I had backed out against. So um, we can ask him some questions. We're going to talk to him. Right. It's time to talk to Louis. <laughs> he's going to get indignant here. And he's uh, um, 
a yes, representative the, of the revolution? Of the General Assembly. The General Assembly. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and what are your initial thoughts, Alicia? <laughs> you, you had some images of the actual <laughs> trial <laughs> of Louis Capet. <Kippen. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Does this square with the actual trial? <laughs> so this is where we play the um, the guessing game. The guessing the game. There was a fake passport. Um, that is a method. I'm going to go with. Oh, you got it right. Uh, there was the uh, gathering armed forces. I believe that was. Um, yeah, accusation. No. no was... There was an attempt to flee the country. <laughs> well, is that a method or a motive? I, I no, know. you're doing terrible. Well, help me out to suppress <laughs> the uh, doubling the size of the guard, shooting civilians. That seems bad. <laughs> yeah, but what is it? An, uh, accusation? Ah, what do you think? We'll go with accusation. Uh, Yay. <laughs> and. Um, this is the point where we should have read that document this is way clearer. International plot. Yeah, this is yeah. where you're scheming right. with the this other monarch. Yeah. This is the most, let's go down there. I don't think my option will be most realistic. You've chosen <laughs> historically accurate. Um, I'd say that was an accusation or a method. Um, definitely not a witness. No. Um, or is that a motive? Method. Okay. Accusation. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's, Good. Go, <laughs> let's go ahead. So now what we can do is actually ask him these questions. So we won those questions essentially by so, <clears throat> making those guesses. And we have two strikes. So that means we'll probably not get to ask a couple of questions if we wanted to try to do them all. We deliver the passport. And, and when it says this, the jury's not revealed its verdict. So they're measuring they're the actual answers in question. It. The people just want to put Kill the king. Under the guillotine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Everybody, apparently. So that's Teen View, there in the corner. And I can ask another question, or I can go down to here, the verdict, and if I, I can do death penalty, and then everybody kind of likes it. The blue means You're gonna they're supporting it. Mm -hmm. Prison, I get a little blue, they're kind of okay with it. If I quit him, people are really mad with me. All right. And the game might end. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other issue is the jury hasn't reached a verdict. So, if I keep asking questions, I can bring them on my side and they won't be so mad at me because Sean really upset yeah, them. Yeah, I upset them already So, because I ignored them. The problem is the questions I'm asking are fairly neutral. Well, you can go back in and try yeah. to ask some others. Hmm. Those are the people. The people are shouting, like just the, basically, to take the heads of all monarchies. <laughs> I would never turn against my beloved friends. <laughs> 
now, liar than people. <laughs> He'd sell his own mother, never mind his country. <laughs> All right, so. I'd this, like the jury to reach a verdict, yeah, but I don't think they're going the to. The jury has, is staying out of this so far. Well, the public opinion is changing. Yeah. Or it's getting more aggressive. Yeah. So, right. People are irritated. So, what do you think? Well, you can go back. I mean, do you want me to ask more if questions? If you want to come in, yeah, let's ask a couple more questions All right. and see if we can. I've got two strikes, one more yeah. strike, and we're and done. And we're done anyway. Um, um, Postmaster Duray was. Uh, witness? A witness, yes. Yes. Okay. And then the. Doubling the size of the guard was that mo method? method? Yes. Yep. I'm going oh, back in. Okay. You got a couple of more questions yeah. now. Call in the witness. Oh, so now we're so getting now. the postmaster. Hey there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the jury now has an opinion. They want to acquit the king. Ah, that's a problem. <laughs> he didn't recognize him from the coin. No, apparently. not at least in not in this part of the story. Oh, wait, right, hold on. How did you learn his true identity? money, right? <laughs> oh, now we have prison. The jury. Yeah, jury's ready to put him in prison now. People are irritated still. Because I'm taking too long. Yeah. <laughs> they just want him dead. <laughs> they can move very I was, quickly. It's a yes. Very quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like his defense. <laughs> I had no intention of escaping. I was merely traveling. That's it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're back to acquittal. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, is he going to reestablish an absolute monarchy? Why would I do that? I was still king. <laughs> Why did you raise the number of troops in how do you to 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 Twillery? I'm like in that. <laughs> My yeah. <laughs> ah, Mr. Ah. Danton. That's Well, mm, so I, I think, can. I think you need to ask a few more questions. Wow, is, really? Well, if you don't, you're gonna suppressing the revolution. Piss off the accusation. That's an accusation. Sure. Uh, defending his authority. Uh, accusation is oh no motive. Yeah, motive. Um, that's good. Yeah, I like okay. to go into it. A couple of more questions now. Oh, yep. see, now it has that. That means if I ask him that one, I'm gonna head well. It's too late. I'm yep. doing the <laughs> chop his head off question. All right. <laughs> Constituents, deputies. So there's at least a date. <laughs> oh, it's people. <laughs> so now now you should have yeah now I have uh, see it's about the same yeah and if I quit him it's a very bad everybody goes again I leave this choice up to which would like to kill the king or, uh, put him in prison you, you know that was an important debate at the moment of the trial yeah because well, two. we are all agree that uh, a king is not an ordinary man. Right. So I just said that to make a great speech at the assembly to say uh, he's not an ordinary man. Or he's a king, or he has to die. Mm. Ah. But everybody is not agree with that. They accept to suppress the king, but not necessarily to kill him. Right. Mm. And
And that was the debate between prison, prison, jail, or death penalty. Mm. And we've got the same problem that two, two centuries and 30 years ago. Well, now was your chance. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> we can change history. <laughs> it was really a problem of consciousness. Right. Many deputy, but yes. And so what was the vote like? Very balanced. Very balanced. At yeah. the end, it was very, very balanced. And um, they chose the death penalty because the king was a danger mm -hmm. in, its, in himself. himself. Uh, I would say that um, keeping him alive, it's always a risk to see right. him mm -hmm. coming back to the power. Yeah. Don't forget the context because there is no question about the context, but you know that there is a strong invasion of France. We are not in mm -hmm. 1794 like this game, we are before right. 1792 at the end of 1792, and at that time there is a real risk of invasion. Mm -hmm. And if the country is invaded by, by a foreign monarchy, right. of course the first thing that we do is to recreate the absolutist monarchy mm -hmm. in France. We have no choice, we have to kill him. And it was reason, not uh, something that we can consider as fair. Yeah, fair, mm. right. Well, I feel much better now choosing to death penalty. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have, you have convinced you, us you that have, we need to uh, kill the king. <laughs> Personally, as, 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 a, as a deputy, uh, I, I wouldn't have chosen this, this, this one. No, prison. Yeah, prison. Yeah, because it, it was not stupid to say that the death penalty protect us from the monarchy, but because after. French Revolution after right. the There's Napoleonic era. This is his brother who came right. back to the <laughs> with the 80s. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Shall I lob him? Death penalty. All right. All right. <laughs> you have the X. I have. Sign your set. Sign I know. I get a. It's... <laughs> oh. Oops. Hey, go back to your. Oh, the jury has not revealed it's. The people are aggressive. Oh, I right. The crowd in front of the building is enraged. There may soon be a massacre. So you think you have to hit A to go through this? I remember. Okay. Yeah. So if There's an inter. Yeah. Before you can kill him, you have to give him. You have to give a speech. People, what I don't have to. I can so if I like. Right. Why um, are you so angry? <laughs> He'll surely run from justice as well. We found proof of the king's treachery in his secret iron uh -oh. cabinet. He had a secret iron cabinet. We can't understand the, the decision without the context. You know? Right. And uh, of course there is uh, the, the mob around. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pressure on the National Assembly. Right. But, yeah, they tried to allude to that a little. A little. Bit. Yeah, right. through cut scenes, there's this the kind of sense that Paris is at least in flame, at least dangerous, if not already in flames. That and there's, there's rioting there's in riot, the streets. There's a tension that is hard to control. That people yeah. are being killed. And don't forget the violence of the mob, the massacre right. of September. Right. Uh, we know that some can stop at every moment. Mm -hmm. And we know also that the, the king has many friends in France. He's not alone. Right. The commence persuasion now. Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay. I, I was picking things. Okay. <laughs> Undisputedly, justice will be duly served. I didn't take care of this. So no, that's what's happening. So, manipulation. That's been <laughs> we shall dutifully pursue each line of inquiry for the Republic. I'm not very good at speeches. No, I've, I was failing pretty hard at the speeches. That one went out that time, though. So. Um, it's hard to it, it, it the the like the wheel is not very precise, so I meant to pick aggression here. Right. But it you went. It you shows went. and yeah. humility worked. <laughs> I mean the crowd is always difficult. <laughs> <laughs> always difficult. Maybe that's an accidental component yeah. of the, the mechanics. <laughs> the crowd is always difficult. So it's hard to it's hard to make these speeches. Um, I gotta look through more Evidence? Or no, I think they they want to hear about the Iron Cabinet, if I'm remembering oh, correctly. Oh, right. All right. Okay. Seal the secure Iron Cabinet and the documents hidden within from the convention. <laughs> My cabinet. I had nothing. You have to role play this. For... <laughs> I want to hear the accent. <laughs> I do that enough. Uh, 
Was there an iron cabinet of evidence? Or? Le, le, le cabinet de fer, oui. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that uh, he was accused of. That. It was true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a really bad dig at him and his locksmithing. Now what we have down here is a lot more evidence. Mm -hmm. um, so we got... Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in, in some ways, this, this game is probably not the best to Twitch because of the, the, the amount, amount of reading. reading well, I think it's an, still on. an interesting discussion yeah. here. Um, and if we look at the evidence, that kind of gets to the point. Um, like, this is where he was cons who he's conspiring with over here um, after his plot failed. And some of these are short. And this is his uh, a letter. A letter that he wrote. Oh, no, that, no, not he. That, uh, broke Shoot the the broke the rebels. Yeah. So that's coming from the court. And now, now the death penalty is even more favorable. Yeah, the, no one wants prison. Right. And everybody wants everybody his wants head. Him. Right. Let's get it done. So if we oh. were to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you you have convinced is... me of, of. Like you said, politics are fast. <laughs> <laughs> the mentality. The mentalities are slow. Oh. Politics are fast. <laughs> And then they have this um, a quiz, a little <laughs> quiz over here. Did the defendant confess to the crime? No, no. Of course not. Uh, who was corrupting politicians at Citizen Capet's request? Did they call him Citizen Capet ever, or is it just King? Um, who was corrupting um, it? Um, oh, I've seen the name of Jean-Marie Roland somewhere. Yes, well, I, paper, I think yeah. you're correct. <laughs> According to the defendant, why did Emperor Leopold II write him letters? Um, uh, this is one we didn't read, so... This one? Yeah, sure. You're going to get that one wrong, probably, though. I don't know, the second one. The second yeah. one? Okay. Yeah, okay. Why did Citizen Capet not warn the National Assembly about the Duke of Brunswick's plans? Yeah, I would say it's the first one, but that could be. He could have also just forgot. But this is the problem with not reading the case files. Well, we'll see what happens. And then we get to see what kind of, how well we did on the. Yeah, I think the idea here is to not rush the judgment. If you pay, yeah, so pay attention right. to details, mm -hmm. um, and that affects your score also. Long live the people! Down with the tyrants! I, hey, we got them all right. Look, look at that. I got my, I got my exam back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what that, that quiz is supposed to represent the National Assembly watching over the court to make sure that, that you're, you're actually paying attention. Yes. We, we are far from history now. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose in some ways it's, but it's a game mechanic. To as you to mentioned, you to yeah, to have you look at the evidence carefully and yeah. not yeah. just mash. And right. This is a work of historian. Mm -hmm. Look at the, at the, at the, the documents. Yes, it right. is. Right. Yeah. Right. This is future archives. Right. Yeah. This is interesting in that way. So, yeah. and you find when you do pay attention, your your playing becomes um, better. Um, your choices are you know, obviously more reasoned, and generally you can manipulate the the, the reputation and the jury m much more clearly and to your benefit. Right. Mm. Where you're just going, okay, um, go through. So now, um, it's done. Just hit Y for next. Y for next. I think we take him to the to the guillotine to the guillotine at this moment. And you have to do another speech. I don't have to. I believe I can skip it. <laughs> I still but want to see. The king made a speech. No. A short one. Oh, did he? Did he? Yeah. There 
excitement and stronger than the smell of the fresh wood the ET was made from. Do they know what's about to happen? Yes. <laughs> So that's supposed to be us. He just called the people sheep. To bow for the new uncompromising idol with his shiny steel crown. I too have felt their eyes on me, just like him. I mean, it plays into the idea the mob is controlling mm -hmm. the, the course of events. I do like that the blade of the guillotine is still wet with blood. <laughs> they wouldn't have cleaned it for the king. I was unable to understand this wounds. I only tasted the stench of their sweaty bodies. I only tasted the stench of their sweaty bodies. But I could hear one thing perfectly. <laughs> um, I could, but you I'm don't not. have to, right? I mean, it's pretty clear they want him to be dead. So skip the speech. Yeah, just do it. There he is. <laughs> is that the speech? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is quite precise. Right? Yeah. Even the answer of the king was not a mm -hmm. It was as very close to his own defense. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, that's good to know. You do have they, to... They make you do it. Would you like to press the button? This is your chance. <laughs> this is your one chance. <laughs> <laughs> you can pull the rope. All right. <laughs> what was the game that's based on that? On yes. Yes. Yep. yes. That's... Mm -hmm. Yes. That's exactly yeah. right. Does that make sense? And then the bloody guillotine is raised back up. It's a mob. Yeah, yeah, the mob, mob of masked confusion, hatred, and then... Now your family. Yes, so his father-in-law stole some evidence from the court from an earlier case that we tried. Yeah. Wife, and who is the, the He's uh, F Fidel. Fidel's He's here. Fidel. That's, that's us. It. That's his father-in-law. That's his father-in-law. That's his father. Our father. And that's his um, father-in-law okay. and the lawyer who's been sitting in the jury Yeah, and of course with him, advising him. Do you want to do Marie Antoinette now? Are we, do we have a space where we can? Do we not? I thought I was a, that was you, or I couldn't remember Maybe. if you brought it up to that spot. You want to try another episode? If you want to. Should we have time? Yeah. What time is it? 10. 10? Okay. Oh. What are you doing? I'm escaping. Okay. <laughs> you need to uh, skip this. You have okay, to get, get through this. Yeah. Look at that. That's how a lot of people play this game. Uh, and then, yeah. yeah, this is your... Yeah. Um, do something to make everybody happy. She's really happy right now. Yeah. So is the kid. So you should probably viola it I, to get the I, other kid I, well, up. Well, I've seen if we get the father. Yeah. Eh, I never work with him. Hmm. Why do you want your dad to be happy? I don't know. What's he going to do if he's sad? It's unclear. Right. This is how you kill the patriarchy? Literally. <laughs> Stick it to your dad. <laughs> and so the the chapters. There's three chapters: Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. Right? Yeah. They follow that. Um, I mean, so there was not coming like this. Fraternity come later. So right. <laughs> 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 There's a little Robespierre for us. Yeah. So we have pleased Robespierre. Right. Um, so here we're dealing with Brett, just a soldier. A soldier. Oh, right. right. He, his younger brother fell out of a window. So the case is, did he push him or did he abuse his younger brother? Mm. That's basically it. 
And as a soldier, does he get any leeway in the matter? <laughs> So, yeah, and they're hinting at a kind of PTSD there that right, neighbors told us that during the first month after the return of the soldier, they didn't notice anything disturbing. However, eventually he began to hear screams at night. Vincent was sometimes seen with a bottle of wine and reeking of alcohol and behaving aggressively. And so. This after the death of Louis, or is this before? This is after the death this of is Louis. After. Okay. okay. When do we get the power just to ascribe death? Basically, just to hear the cases without actually. Pretty having soon, to... probably around. Well, probably where I was. The okay. fast trials right. and new intrigue. Um, the okay. fast trials, which I just deleted. Deleted. Oh, um, <laughs> are the trials where you only have a choice between death. And acquittal. Right. There's no prison. Which okay, it's probably one and of the of that. You're getting right. not linked with the French Revolution, the kind of murder case. Or right. Uh, I, I got a case like this in the archive when I was working in the police archive in Rouen. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy fell from the window from this third floor, but he was just drunk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's weird that it's... Um, it's retelling you how to play? Yeah. yeah. All right, so fall from the window. Is that course of events? Yeah. Um, return of the wounded uh, scars and bruises, extenuating circumstances. No, it's nothing. case is more about your reputation. Yeah, to use it, it is. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, when it, it's it, a part of the game, when Jeff say. pulls up the questions, you can see that each of the questions is marked with a, a guillotine, a, a dove, and you can or neutral. You can only ask. At some levels, you can only ask the peace questions, the dove questions, mm. to try to get somebody acquitted. Um, they can shoot. Yeah. Or you can be just really aggressive and try to kill everybody. Um, and so, like, in this case, there's no... there's. Mm, You're questioning the mother now. Right. And there's nothing revolutionary about this case. This is just a day-in, day-out case, like you said, that's meant for reputation scores and to try to right, appease the jury in some ways. I just can't believe I lost all fast yeah. trials. <laughs> so prison, we can just... Right. You have to go through the question. <laughs> and we're back to him. Right. I ask him a question about his drinking. People are getting anxious. What does it mean to be anxious? Um, so <clears throat> that meter there on the right-hand side where it says they're getting anxious, um, if that reaches all the way up to the flames, it takes us away from the trial and we go back outside and there's riots um, in the streets. Mm. And so if you displease the people through these court trials, that goes up. And so you want to try to balance the people, right, and their desires. And you want to keep the jury mm -hmm. going okay, and you want to keep both revolutionaries and monarchists um, all kind of in balance. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you end up getting stabbed in yeah. the street, um, which has happened to, to us at, at I've one been point. stabbed. Yeah, yeah, you're walking home from a night in the, or from your your job and you're uh, abused and stabbed and a revolution somebody finds you back to the tutorial right. did the defendant confess 
Probably not. No. They never do. What circumstance did the boy fall from the window? Uh, he was uh, it was arguing. First one, first one. It's a, he was arguing, yeah. Were the neighbors complaining about screams? Yes. Yeah. They said he was drinking, being aggressive. Yeah. They testified he was stealing. Yeah. According to the statements, what was the invalid doing at the time of the accident? Um, I think this one. Yeah. Sure. I think he's. Yes. <laughs> we can. Let's see how well we do. Oh, oh wow. you killed him? You killed him? Ah, I didn't. Jeez. <laughs> For domestic violence? It was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean, I thought I'd press prison. <laughs> and look how oh, bad we did. Yes. Oh, that job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, everything. Or revolutionaries somehow are happy. Yeah, well, you killed somebody who was a soldier in the King's Guard, yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, essentially, he had been a soldier with, at the... Uh, it's interesting how they make you do this right. each time. Well, now you have to defend your decision, right, with the crowd. No. Nah. No? Nah. Okay. No. Nah. He's... <laughs> I mean, it... Jeff just likes killing people. For I don't. What I, it's unfair. I know. That was fair. <laughs> there was no political meaning. <laughs> well, I, I, I was, I, Unless you like killing I'm veterans. A, I'm a bit grumpy that I lost the, the day 14 and 15. Okay, so. That's the problem. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wife and kid like you. A lot. It, it's weird that it goes through these yeah. mechanics again. My wife and kid, and everybody's happy reading together except for my older son. It's nice to read together. Okay. You're gonna make, yeah, so now that you've killed somebody, you just come home and relax with your family as if nothing happened in your day today. We're just gonna read silently at home. Their actions <laughs> um, contributed to their death. There, I did. was merely a. Um, oh. So this is, I think, what you had mentioned before, and I'm not real happy about it. I'm gonna have to start over. Uh, but what had happened is I, because of my inattention to certain quarters, I've lost this one. It's burning, so I can. This guy, I don't think he can go over there. Um, it might be able to help out. District fully. fully. All right. Okay. And this guy, he's he's intrigue. He will help. The, so, the so painter? Fly. The artist? Uh, this, yeah. yeah. So he does intrigue for the revolutionaries? Um, or for? Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Okay. Yes. And I'm down here. Uh, oh, that's enemy. That's not me. Right. Um, that's all I've got right now. So there's nothing much you can do there except no. for perform intrigue. I can't go here. I guess it's just, let's see. There's my, mm, yeah. my little note. Yeah. That's why I feel good. Uh, Your son's watching you. And then I can do intrigue. I can um, get people to do things. Mm. Well, there's Madame Laurent. So this mm. is when you get the chance to kind of yeah. sway the, I guess, the direction of the revolution and in, in, in some ways, right. The beginning of the French Revolution. Did you? Yeah. At the beginning? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's They were very influential. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She, they call it a so-called political salon. Um, turned out to be an exclusive brothel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play diplomacy with them. So then it tells you here you're... And then this is your chance of success. <laughs> wasn't for real. She wasn't. <laughs> she, <laughs> it was just a prostitute. <laughs> it's a mix of accuracy. And right. <laughs> very accuracy and or very accurately and done and Tucky like crazy. oh no, <laughs> what are you doing? No, that's funny. Mm. Yeah. Ten thirty. Do we want to? The, this Hugo Trottier. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's anybody. Um, I'll have to find out. No, he's just a. Oof, there's a lot of negative rep negative numbers there. Um, groom working for a wealthy and influential aristocrat. Known by the local community as a village idiot.
Yeah, and so that's interesting. Yeah, so like these cases, I think, are supposed to, in, in some ways, intri introduce the idea of the aristocracy yeah. and how they're treating the people and how the people are reacting to the aristocracy. Um, and I, I, yeah, so. And then it also plays in on that the the people, if you will, right. Um, then have certain sentiments towards what you should do to mm. people of different social classes. Social class rank, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and so you're pushed and pulled by that. So in this case, they'll probably want him acquitted because he was abused by an aristocrat. And he's, uh, you know, as an idiot. Right, not, yeah. Was possible. Right. He did. And so... May, and so in some ways this but is there where... there is two, two, two levels in that game all the time. This is uh, what is fair right. and what is useful. This is totally separate. Right. It's a difficult game maybe to do it in this way because the documents are so precise. And right. as, as you mentioned, Richard, you know, to give a full assessment is, is difficult because of... I mean, you're only playing parts of the game. It's and... it's probably, depending if you, you read everything and you're very precise, I would imagine it's going to take you 25 hours to or so yeah. to yeah. play it. You could play it much quicker. People have played it much quicker, but I don't think that really gives a sense of it. It's not interesting. It, yeah, it's, it's yeah, not. If you go it just, fast, it doesn't make sense. It's right. just button mashing, right? right. Um, and there, there are, you know, Key historical characters, maybe we, we, we could have gotten to and played, but there is that interspersion of the everydayness mm -hmm. of, of, of the people that just lived in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, and as you mentioned too, it's that, that sense of versus Assassin's Creed, the agency is with you as the judge. You have to make all these decisions. You are so part of the process. You're part of, yeah, you're part, you are the, in this sense, making the choices for the process. And, and you can develop your own vision of the French Revolution. Right. Yeah, and I'm curious to see where that goes and to what extent you can... I, I don't imagine that there's any real sort of counterfactual in terms of altering the ultimate course of the revolution. Right. I think, and I don't know for sure, but I think that there is the opportunity to change where you fit within the revolution mm. as a character in the game. Does right. that make sense? That's my sense of it. Because, and I don't know, I haven't tried this. If I acquitted um, okay. Louis, mm. right, I have a sense that there'd be all sorts of reputation damage. I would be attacked, mm. and it'd be more difficult to complete other portions of the game. Yeah, right. But the the revolution might still take its course. I don't imagine he would end up coming back into to the throne. Power. No, I think it because I think this is a game about the judges' individual, the players' individual decisions. I don't think I think the history is largely tangential. I mean, it's I don't it's think a part it's tangential. It's not tangential, but I mean, it is tangential in the in the fact that we're in the way that your decisions aren't going to change the course of the revolution, right? It only think, affects. I think your gameplay. It I only affects the way that you're going to experience the game. Right. right. There is a whole debate about the question of circumstances. Right. Mm -hmm. The way a fact or an event can change. change. Mm -hmm. The way we live or create the process, right. the revolutionary process. Uh, it's a never ending process. And mm -hmm. there is a part of the historiography that considers that the revolution is not still not finished. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. the social equality is not there. Right. right. Yeah. And uh, uh, we can see the game is interesting. It's not, as we can say, a funny game like you know Assassin's Creed, right. the, yeah. with action and so on. It, it's not for the same public, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is interesting for a young historian because you are confronted with paper, mm -hmm. with yeah. uh, sources, right. kind of kind sources, of sources, sources right. but it's not. And you can't confront that with the true sources. I just have a problem with the lack of chronology. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because. Um, uh, the, the, the trial of Louis XVI did not happen like this, absolutely not. It was much more interesting because right. he was not judged by just one man, right. but mm -hmm. by the National Assembly. It was before, 
in the late 90, 1792, he was executed in 1793. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very difficult decision because the National Assembly is not a tribunal. Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of the components of the power, and there is no place for that. And it was the first debate in the Assembly, can we judge the king? Mm -hmm. And when we consider that it was a political necessity, they decided to transform the National Assembly into a trio. And this is a, succe this is a succession of process like this. Right. After that, do we have to kill the king or not? And this is that kind of question. And it would be interesting to cross, and I will give you some, some if you want to put yeah. that, <laughs> that, uh, some, some true uh, engraving or paper about the, the trio right. to, to confront that with. But I think the game finally is, is, is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I think, so. I, you know, it, it would be, if you could have the game within the National Assembly, like with all the intrigue and all the questions, and I wonder if they thought of that and, and whether having a single player outside of that was easier for them to manage. Mm -hmm. And therefore, since you couldn't have a National Assembly trial with the king, you just, you resituate it ahistorically, right, to, 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 give, the to give the player a sense of agency. agency. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, for the game, the trial of the king is an important moment. Right. right. Uh, even for the historiography, of course, yeah. there is a book by Sobul about that. But, um, uh, the, the, the game would be very boring if it was just linked with mm -hmm. the reality. Because as I, as I said, the, the list of people who were killed mm -hmm. were right. very ordinary people. Yeah. It, suppose. It, it, I suppose one issue then with the, the king also is it comes early in the game, be that as it may, but it, it, it almost seems like, okay, this is just an event and you deal with it. And now let's move on to the other right. components. It's, no it's almost a throwaway right. yeah. moment that we have to deal with the king, so let's Same. deal with the king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, yeah, I think there's a player expectation that you're going to get to do that, mm -hmm. right, in some ways. There's the reality that you have to do it, essentially, just to move the revolution forward and put us into the terror. Right. Right, so that the king is a character who's just kind of, and he's just removed at that point from the game. There's no real ramification of having done that, except that you get a couple of reputation points. points from the revolution. I, I saw the, the work you did with the students <coughs> creating, you know, the ramification yeah, yeah, yeah. of games. Yeah. And I really appreciate that because it is a, a part of the revolutionary process. Right. The decision you take changes has the right. future of the process. Yeah. 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 And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this game is based on this ramification mm -hmm. of the story. That makes sense. Yeah, and I think, yeah, for me, this is one of the better games in terms of presenting history to students um, because it allows for that idea that the individual is making their own decisions and that there are outside forces enabling those decisions, changing those decisions. As you right. know, we have to, to put together, as we said mm -hmm. at the beginning, the structure and the agency, right. of course, yeah. to, to, make, to make that right. work together. Uh, and there is a lack, a, a kind of weakness, it is about the, the structure. We are not aware of the context. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there is, of course, political intrigue, that's true. There right. is corruption, don't forget right. that. Uh, Fouquet-Tinville uh, was corrupted, I found the proof in the archives. Right. Uh, if you, if you uh, have a trio, you are in jail. If you give him money, he can say, okay, we will judge him later, yeah. because right. he knows that you will be accused and probably executed. Yeah. But if you give him money, Regularly, you can delay your your, your judgment. It's um, it was corruption. Right. Yeah. yeah, and I think sometimes games have the there's the tension between creating a narrative and dealing with the history. Mm -hmm. and That's always a problem. Right. You, That's true. And yeah, you have to make it interesting. You yeah. have to make it it. it <laughs> uh, you, but then what become I, I and I, even more than that, right? I mean, from uh, historiographical standpoint, right, an academic monograph has, right, there's rules to doing right. what we do as historians, right? There's a structure. And there's a structure place. to that, yeah. and there's an argument that needs to be made, and in these games, all of that can just be tossed out. I don't window. know if it's tossed, well, it's it, it, there's a, well, the game has the structure, right? right? right. And so their method of telling a story is, is molded by their medium, 
and the history, whether it's ingrained or not, is still something that is, is, is not necessarily right. the essence of it. It's the narrative right. that's the essence, and yeah. so. But that narrative is not subject to review. It's not subject. It's subject to review. It's not yeah. subject to our review. Our kinds of review, right? right? It's subject to a narrative, mechanical, mechanical. algorithmic sort of <laughs> review, right? Right. That is different but I think it, it more interestingly it highlights the 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 difficulty or tension that game studios have with thinking about making something interesting and historical mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not an historical object it's not right. Right. For, for scholar or for studying right but clearly it's interesting because I think that but slowly we introduce agency, that's mm -hmm. great, and document, that makes sense, and also we understand the process, yeah. right. that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And of course it's, it's a fiction, mm -hmm. but it, we are allowed as historians to use fiction. Right. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, it's interesting to see how your decision can impact differently, different kinds mm -hmm. of yeah. people, and that is interesting. Right. Yeah, I think it's that process that you is... You will create partly the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In that sense, fiction can create history. Yeah. I oh, I, I, yeah. That's the, one of the reasons I think we're, we're so interested in the way that these games function this way, right? Because n not only do they create history, but they inform the way that players understand the revolution. So if somebody was to sit down and play that this game, fiction, right? right? As far as historiography is concerned, and this is why I'm there, right. uh, I, I want to say that we can't reduce the terror just with that. Right. Um, but in that game, you are free mm -hmm. to defend the, the great principle right. of right. 1789. Yeah. You have the choice. Mm -hmm. Of course, you will be stabbed. <laughs> 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 you will lose your family. <laughs> <laughs> or, you just, or you just choose but to kill everyone anyway, it, right? It's, so up to you. Yeah. Yeah. it's up to you. Right. And uh, never forget that Danton, the day of his judgment, said, the scaffold is already there for right. Robespierre. I think they were partly aware that this process will destroy them. Right. Yeah, the trajectory is. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were not naive. Mm -hmm. It was clear for them that they were in a dynamic. Right. It will probably use them, consume them, and destroy and them. Destroy them. By the end. See, now that is an interesting basis for a game. Right. <laughs> right? It, this is, you know, the definition of the revolutionary man. By Saint Just, mm -hmm. you have to be ready to sacrifice yourself so for the French right. Revolution, or you are not a revolutionary. Right. Yeah. You see, that's a good place to end. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have another question. No. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. Okay. Because we are right. butting up against. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, 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 that was fun. 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 A lot of fun. <laughs>